In this lecture, what we're going to be doing is creating a new project in GarageBand. So the first thing you're going to do is go down to your dock and open GarageBand. Of course, if it's not there, you can always go to your launch pad and search for it there. Push GarageBand, boom, and it pops right up. But you click there and you go to file. But my, I already have a project open, so that's pretty much what you do. But you would go to file, new, and then this would pop open. Start with an empty project. So just click there, double click, and this is going to open up. Now, I just want to just give you a few different things here. First off, BPM. BPM is how fast or slow your track is going to be. So you can um, change that by clicking here and moving up with your mouse or down with your mouse. Or you can double click it and you can uh, manually enter in the number. Okay. Um, you're not going to necessarily have to worry about um, having your metronome on because we're just using Apple Loops. Also, these little buttons are hotkeys. So right here is the first button opens up your sound library. This button right here is very important because anything you when you when it's selected, anything you scroll over, it will give you a definition of what it is and even some hotkeys or key commands that you can use. So this is a great resource right here. All right. This is your uh, basic um, place where you'll be able to add all of your effects. OK, to your various tracks. So this is where you can add your plugins and your effects. This is your editor. OK. This is what's called a transport uh, station right here or transport. Basically, you can go left, right, stop, play, record. OK. This is your display here and you can look at everything in measures of actual minutes and seconds or in bars, beats. Key signature, time signature, don't worry about those things. You can uh, come in here and move the overall volume up or down of your track. And if you hold down option on your keyboard and push this, any button in the key in, in the uh, program, it will push it up to nominal gain or to the to the original place. This is where you can add notes. It's pretty cool. If you want to import uh, music, any type of files, this is where you can do that. And last of all, we have Apple loops. Okay. So since there's thousands and thousands and thousands of sounds or whatever, or really hundreds, it takes a few minutes or a few seconds for it to load. But uh, once it's loaded, you'll be good to go. So in the next lecture, what we're going to be doing is really covering how um, this Apple Loops uh, background here works, how all this stuff works, um, different ways to use the Apple Loops and everything like that.